I mean, speaking on what Bob has been telling us for, for quite some time, I have mm. another headline too. I just saw last night um, to do with Mars. Right. <laughs> to do with Mars. Mars, the red planet. Yep. And um, this is our, our good friends, NASA. <laughs> no. Oh, NASA, right? <laughs> They're Nas- supposed to be doing their report, right? They should be working hard yeah. on that. <laughs> Yeah, working absolutely. hard to tell us about all these UFOs we've seen. <laughs> they shouldn't be saying anything about Oh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Um, so, NASA's Mars rover finds clearest evidence yet of um, ancient water mm. on Mars. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, they're trying to... But Baba said this. Baba Yanun predicted not only... Obviously, he's told us in great detail that there has, has and is life on Mars. And to the extent at, at which there was where, you know, things took place, things were built on Mars. We had that that situation where many years ago they came out with the uh, face on Mars, which you mm-hmm. can Google, where they were trying to establish what is this face, where did it come from, so on and so forth. And various people have written, you know, articles and books on that. And Baba Yanon explained all of that. He told us the whole story. And this all ties in with, not to j- jump into too much depth, um, um, but it ties in with the Anunnaki, extraterrestrials like that. It ties in with beings that people might be, might have heard before, like Anu, Alelu, and, and mm-hmm. the whole story there. So Baba Yanon, he explained everything that happened there and how Alelu went to Mars and set up um, and built structures and was running experiments similar to what he did on planet Earth. When you look at places like Maya and what became the Mayans and so on and so forth, a lot of that tied into Alelu, who was a member of the Anunnaki. It's a whole story. Tried to take the throne, got kicked off Nibiru, came down to Earth and set up certain things and at a different point he also went to mars so the face on mars was associated with that being so hopefully we can talk about and tell that story in some depth in, in the next segment but that's what so baba yanon has been telling us that there's been life on mars there's things have taken place on mars what he's also said is that you see the rich people trying to get to mars so mm-hmm. a lot of what's happening right now what you might term as the elites or the rich they know that's why they're trying to get off the planet. Yeah, <laughs> they them. know what time you it see, is. They know what time You see Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, all of them guys there like, oh, okay, we need options. <laughs> That's why I even saw William Shatner's going to yeah. space. Yeah, so. like, don't leave me behind. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. you know, it, 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 it was all um, outlined in the movie Don't Look Up. Right. Where at the end, the rich people got off the planet. Got off the planet. And they went to New Planet. Yeah. Still got attacked there. Still got so. attacked and still got eaten there, <laughs> eaten, which is which yeah. ties in with reality. And that's some of the recent updates that Bubba's put out. He's told us recently, okay, they're trying to get to Mars. Told us told us that a little while ago. He, if you go to a book called The God of Light and Fire, mm-hmm. um, which we've mentioned before, he explained. In fact, I, I'd love to read a, a section of that because he, in that book, which came out maybe, what, 2023 now. So it could be six, seven years ago. Something years to that affair. We've got to check the exact date on that. But a lot of the predictions in that book, you go through the first few pages of that book and he's just laying out what's about to happen. And and we're seeing it all now. And we can read it. But one of the things he did say in that book was, yeah, they're going to um, discover uh, evidence or something to the effect of evidence of life on Mars. Or they're going to put out that they've discovered evidence. Yeah. And so he, he told us that that was coming. So it's no surprise to hear they're talking about, okay, yeah, there might have been a river here. A lake. A lake. <laughs> Water. Yeah, what water. does it mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But they know what it means and they've been knowing what it means. Um, so it's no surprise there. Mars is there's a lot of that Bubba's put out on it. Yes, they're going to try and get there, they're also going to try and get elsewhere. Um, and, and again, that pertains to extraterrestrial activity, extraterrestrial agreements or agreements, agreements between humans and extraterrestrials. And yeah, we saw what happened in uh, Don't Look Up when they got to the planet, yeah, you know, and there's a reality <laughs> to that if that makes sense. So yeah, I'd love, like to read out that that at some point if we could, but it's no surprise. It's no surprise. I recommend there's a document called that um, was put out a while ago um, now called Introduction to Parbalag because you had Parbalag, which was some of our cultural um, chants, if that makes sense. And when he was introducing that, he put out a document introducing that he explained also that Alelu had been to Mars, that he had been to Earth and then he had been to Mars and he set up certain things. There was another document um, put out called Alelu and the Throne where he went into more detail exactly what took place. Um, so a lot of the time when you're speaking about extraterrestrials, um, people have to note that the reason we speak about them is because they pertain, 
to what's going on with us on this planet. They have such an effect and have had such an effect on what's going on on the planet. And when people understand the stories, they'll see that. They'll see that. So yeah, yeah, no surprises there. I don't wanna, I don't wanna dive in and and overtake the what's news segment. Um, but we need, we do need to go into some detail in terms of that. But Mars, yeah, that Mars has been had been having life on it in the past um, and other planets as well. And we're gonna hear about that too. That's been predicted too. So it's gonna to come to us to a situation where it's like, how many predictions need to uh, need to come true for us to say, oh hey, hang on a second, this being he's onto something. He might know how, a few how things. Right does one person have to be? How yeah, right does indeed. one person have to be? Indeed. So that's why I'd like to read that se- that segment um, of the book just to uh, yeah, I think just to illustrate. We definitely should. Yeah, you want to do that? Yeah, All right. <laughs> let's, let's go for it. it. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to breeze through some of it. I'm going to skip over a couple bits just to just to give people an idea, you know. Just, you know. Um, there will be many wars and weapons given to the mind by demons. There will be much mawat, which is our tones for death. There will be much death. There will be people against people, race against race, nation against nation, country against country. There will arise new viruses. There will be much sickness and diseases. There will also be famines and droughts. There will be hamarat, floods. There will also be great storms and tornadoes and violent whirling columns of wind. There will also be great and small earthquakes trembling, even of the crust from beneath the volcanic forces. There will also rise from the deep mayahat, waters, great tsunamis, great and huge sea waves by undersea eruptions. Let me just I'll skip over a little bit. But there's more in the book. So like I said, people got to really read the book to see yeah. and read them all. So I'll skip over a couple bits. Um, people will pass diseases one to another with no shame. People will have sexual intercourse with strangers transmitting death. Men will beat women as if they are physically equal. Children will kill and murder their own families. Masak, music, will no longer make any sense. There will be senseless sounds on the airwaves. I know everyone's seen that. (laughs) Children will attend schools yet not wish to learn the lies. The jails, prisons and penitentiaries will be filled with people. Viruses will come and be sent to Earth from outer space. Life will be uncovered on Mars and other planets. Extraterrestrials will make themselves seen and known. The wealth and powers of Parkowak, which translates to the planet, the wealth and powers of the planet will move from the Europeans towards the Asians, the Indians, and the Africans. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so it's in there. There you have it. There you have it. And and it's just important because a lot of times you, you, you say it as well. And sometimes we're breezing through things. So we say, oh yeah, this was predicted. This has been said. We've been expecting that. And people might, well, where? Where's it been predicted? Where can I go and read? That's a good book. The God of Light and Fire. Very um, pertinent right it's, now. It's a, it's a good book. And, and everything I read out, what he proceeds that with is he basically says, oh, this is what is going to happen in these times, which he calls the end times. So as we go through the years, um, since that book has come out and, and during and before as well, you see certain things. And he was pointing out what's to come. And if we look at what's happened since that time, if we're saying that book came out, we've got to find it exact date. But six, seven years ago, if we look at what's happened since that time, it'd be hard to argue that many of that has happened. So... If anything, if you haven't seen anything, expect to see it very soon, if that makes sense. But I think it's pertinent. I think it's pertinent and it's important to uh, to acknowledge that we we have been expecting these things. We have been. 